Across the tip of Michigan is a transportation route that spans almost from Lake Michigan to Lake Huron. The Inland Waterway has a history dating back almost 3,000 years when it used to be used by natives to avoid the churning surf of the Mackinac Straits. Today it serves as a sightseeing route still capable of moving steamers to the port of Sheboygan. My son Noah and I attempt to take the Inland Waterway from its western terminus in Conway, Michigan to Lake Huron in our leaking Zodiac Thor. It is a lonely time of year as the crisp air foreshadows winter and strong winds blow hard to pull a few days of rain into the region. We wager that we can beat the downpour by cruising the 30 mile route to the safety of our warm Jeep parked at the mouth of the Sheboygan River on Lake Huron. Join us as we practice our accents, joke about the sights, lock the locks, and spend some father-son time on another Great Lakes adventure. Good morning, we are in the town of Conway, Michigan, launching for the Inland Waterway transportation situation. So we're gonna take the Inland Waterway from Conway to uh, Sheboygan. We got Mike's son here, Poppins, kind of support. She's going to be taking off, maybe taking a nap. Can't blame her for that. Let's go. Yep, it's recording. Yeah. We are just pulling out of the uh, boat launch uh, at Conway, and uh, it is a very crisp and damp October morning. And uh, we're going to go uh, first head to the uh, Crooked Lake Locks. So. Uh, off and on rain. There's not supposed to be any serious rain till about two, but we'll see. It's a 10 spot to get through this one. Coming back today? No. Oh, you're not? No. Okay. This is on me. Really? Thank you, sir. So, how long have you been doing this? 12 years ago. 12 years? So, I've been doing this stuff. The last a couple months, I had to find something new. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. So, this, so, this came up and it worked out perfectly. Yeah. And my plane went into the winter. There you go. And next week's the last. Last yeah, yeah, next week is the end. So basically, this me. just drops down, and then when you open it up, it just lets the water out, and then you just yeah. go out. No pumps, no Electric belts. High, everything's high right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gravity. This is just here, lets you go around the dam. You feel it bringing us forward a little bit. Yeah. If we had the normal drop, I'd have your whole arm to but because it's so high, it's not a big drop. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, it's the boat in the port too. We got a leak in the boat too, so that's good. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Take care. And there's my shower for the day. That's what you call an Irish shower right there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we got a little leak in the uh, Zodiac, I think. Maybe it's just weirdness. Uh, maybe one of the scuffers is just jammed, but uh, filled up with the water twice. <laughs> So this is a uh, part of the town of Alonson. Uh, we're coming up on the Alonson Swing Bridge. In uh, 1901 it was built uh, back in the 70s, about 70 some years after it was first built, it was reconstructed. There's where the uh, bridge master, the bridge keeper, the troll, I don't know what you call him. That's that's up. Reverse, 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 full, 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 full. That bar's too big. So uh, I made a miscalculation. I forgot that we added uh, our communications tower there. And uh, 
We won't fit underneath the bridge. So they have to swing it open for us. <laughs> and I wasn't sure uh, when they would or when they could, but uh, he was here. So as we continue through the charming little burg of uh, Alonson, we come up on the, uh, the boathouse. And I think this boathouse is where the historical society, the Inland Waterway Historical Society, stores their launch, which I guess you can get a ride on it uh, for, a, for a price. Not sure. It's a nice looking boathouse. It's kind of park-like. Looks like it's open to the public. So that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. The ultimate race against time. The race against time. That's close. <laughs> we needed some more air. Crazy, I know. called the devil's elbow because when uh, freighters not freighters when uh, the passenger boats had to come through the steamers when they had to come through they uh, they had to kind of turn hard and a lot of times they had to do like four or five point turns to get around that sharp turn that's why they call it the crooked river it's kind of crooked around here so uh, Got another elbow here too. I'm actually not sure which one is the devil's elbow. Probably the steepest turn. But uh, the ducks are up at their cabin this weekend. Perhaps this is devil's elbow. There's another one coming up. Also. A lot of elbows around here. Comes another one. You can see the river on the other side. Oh, it's the second one. That's devil's elbow. The second one was. Yeah. All right. Look at these clear waters on this river. Odin smiles upon us today. Odin does smile upon us. We are in the Indian River uh, area, going through Indian River, the town, and on the river. And uh, it's uh, lots of docks. But uh, yeah, Indian River is kind of touristy. A lot of special feeling stuff here. No, we are all over the place. What's going on? Not sure what we're looking at here. Am Canada? Are we Canmerica? What are we? What's going on here? This is I-75. Those of you that travel this route may recognize on the other side, the little Indian River route with all the aids to navigation, such as that one, number 63. Remember Red Riot returning, but we're not returning, we're going out to sea. We're heading out to Lake Huron. Is everything okay? I did nothing. <laughs> Get to I 
to use the paths our ancestors laid before us. And perhaps we'll find our way to our destination. Aye. 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 Kayaker dead ahead. It's, it's our little buddy, the seagull. He's, he's Scottish, though. <laughs> you can't get another last thing. <laughs> We just got off a very windy uh, Mullet Lake and now we're in the Sheboygan River. You got the charmingness of the Sheboygan River. Oh, we're on backup navigation. The iPad won't charge as usual. Let's see, probably Sheboygan Locks is our next little spot. 3.45 miles from the locks, sir. I didn't put the antenna off, but now she's pointing to the briny deep. Davy Jones. Davy Jones. Well, it's not my problem. <laughs> I think it's yours. You get the free hand. <laughs> Lakes Tissue Company, purveyors of fine toilet papers the worldwide. Very in demand product these days due to a virus, I guess. Not sure why. Your back end's gonna wanna go with the wind. Yep, so pull yourself in. And then go ahead and take it off and put it in here. Uh, Conway, it's a chilly day out there today. <laughs> Windy too. Holy! I heard 50 miles an hour this afternoon or Thanks a bunch. The mighty Vikson takes us through. About a mile and a half from uh, Lake Huron on the Sheboygan River, almost done with the intercoastal. It is about 1.30. Rain is due to be here anytime now, so it looks like we're gonna cut it pretty close, but we're gonna be okay. We haven't sank, doesn't look like any water back there. This is good. And don't forget to oh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Comments are very important to us. We wanna we want your feedback. Where the ferry departs, where you drive on to go to Bablo Island. Hey, 
have it. We're about a quarter of a mile from our uh, takeout point. Bike Sun and I would like to thank you for coming along on the Inland Waterway Expedition. About to pull out at the boat launch and uh, yeah, it's a good trip. It took us um, from 9, 9.30 till about 1.45, so not too long. Uh, if you kayak it, we'll spend a couple days there. Um, interesting trip, lots of uh, fun little cute things to see and uh, very touristy. So uh, we're gonna go have something to eat as is tradition. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.